I will not talk so much about elevators. <clears throat> I will talk about innovation, social behavior, and especially people. In our group, we changed totally. We don't talk about money. That was hard in the beginning. But the focus was make people happy when you have the crying customer on the telephone, for instance. Make people happy and stay with this statement and you will see money comes for free. <laughs> Destroy, conserve and generate value. The first time we gave up all our rules, fulfill the requirements or exceed expectations, we said, a seamless building transit to delight our customers. In the long term, this will replace every fixture around the elevator. One button, one function, physical society, I think, is at the end. We have this personal interface, and with this interface, everything is controlled. We learn what you do normally, and then <clears throat> you, you, the, the app informs you. We realized that the cities that come in the future, there we need much, much more innovation. Because the acceleration of the, of the value, the, uh, the, uh, the destroying of the value, is accelerating. It's faster and faster. Densification of brains is one of the key drivers for, in, uh, and social interaction, a key driver of innovations, of new ideas. And when I'm talking about businesses, I don't talk about a new Apple or a new Google. I'm talking about a local business where the people are proud to do that and are part of the society. We made a study in Caracas, this is this tower here. This tower was built uh, in the 1990s, then the Chavez came and the crisis came, financial crisis, the building was empty in 95. No water, no elevator, no wastewater, no electricity. And 2007, during a rainstorm, it was occupied by at about 3,000 people from the slums. The safety through verticalization is uh, naturally here. The social behavior between them was incredible because they <coughs> had to go up on, on the staircases and uh, in, within one month everybody sees everybody else. And they have to help each other. We made a book. The book got the Golden Lion in Venezia. Absolutely incredible for, for an elevator company. The Financial Times uh, named this book the best book of 2012 in architecture and design. So <coughs> we only wanted to know what is the social impact of elevators. And we got such, a, such an award. It was absolutely incredible. Today, a billion lives in slum. In 10 years, one billion more. Mid of this century, probably half of the population of the world is living in slums. If we don't do something. These people have 24 hours time to think how they can live like you. We developed some visions. These visions I show here, you can fly through in the dome in a, in a, in a virtual way. For instance, this is a tower in Moscow. This is a transport medium. This is the main station, and they look like that. They can keep at about 130 persons, and they move naturally, horizontal, vertical, whatever you want. The next is a Spiral Town or Babel Town. Here is the idea, instead of going from city to green, you keep all together. Instead of having the city inside, the green outside, you have the green inside and the city outside. You put green up and hang the buildings below. Hanging, this is out of the 60s, was already done then. This is a very famous one in Barcelona, separating 
sustain and hanging saves at about 60 to 70 percent of weight in this building. And the last is the platform concept. The idea is instead of having the informal and the formal, we use an urban shelf. Verticality, the tsunami goes below and the earthquake shakes, but the platforms have an architectural background and so they, they are stable. People who have some space, urban space, they can act as entrepreneurs in this uh, environment through verticalization. Innovative environments where people get identity, extremely important. They must feel, this is me here. Don't forget, have fun, make people happy. Thank you very much. Thank you.